welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for October the 11th through October the 17th. And without further ado, we're getting right into your lovebird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels, what are the messages for the lovebirds for lovely lovely Pisces. We have emotional freedom. Hmm. What are the messages? What are, thank you, thank you. We have emotional freedom and wishing well. To make some wish magic, cast this spell, throw pennies into a wishing well. I feel like you're wanting a little bit of a separation from your lovebird this week. This is not a negative thing. This is a, I need self-love time, self-love care this week. And when you take care of you, you are taking care of the two of you, okay? All right, so give yourself that opportunity to spend some time with friends or in meditation or things of that nature, okay? All right, so, or hiking, yes. All right, angels, high vibrations for Pisces looking for love. Angels, what are the messages? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm, for Pisces. Angels, what are the messages for Pisces this week? We have creativity and wishing well, yes. To make some wish magic, cast the spell, throw pennies into a wishing well. You're wishing that love would come your way, but you don't want the traditional love. No, you want something greatly unique. Um, I'm feeling like this is unique. Like, it's just different. I feel like it's just different. Maybe it's spiritual love. Maybe it's a physical love only. But whatever it is, or maybe you want a relationship where you don't live with the other person. Maybe you like your space. But whatever it is, I see you wishing on that this week. All right? Something different. Now, move. make sure you write that in your journal, okay? All right, angels, high vibrations for... Yes... Pisces this week. Angels, what are the messages for lovely, lovely Pisces this week? Hmm, angels, we're looking for some joy for lovely Pisces. We're adding two. Yes, we are. Two from my mama's deck. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, high vibrations for lovely Pisces. Hmm, thank you and thank you. And yes, positive energy high vibrations, and yes, I want to say bam, <laughs> bam, there it is. All right, now let's go ahead and top it off with the, top it off with the dragon's deck, and remember the dragon's deck is always right side up to get out all the positive energy that we can. Now we're going to Shuffle, yes, the Buddha deck to get the spiritual message for the week. And that is now. Act now. No waiting, no procrastination, not this week. All right. Now, when there's a decision to be made, it must be made now. Okay, so your major theme for the week is the Knight of Swords reversed with the King of Hearts, the Nine of Diamonds and Renewal. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, so someone is coming towards you this week. Uh, yes, aggressively coming towards you this week. Someone has a lot of energy to bestow upon you. So some of you, this is love. Someone is wanting to give you love. Someone wants to give you a lot. A renewal is coming, okay? Now this, this energy that's coming towards you, it may be a new job. It may be a relationship from the past. It may be a friend, a family member that was kind of outside of your circle, if you will, and they are coming back and they're wanting to give to you. Are you ready to receive it? All right, now let's take a peek at the recent past. You had the four of wands reversed with the queen of clubs, the nine of hearts, and the strength card. So in the recent past, you had the four of wands reversed. There was security in your world, but mm, you were kind of wondering about that security. I see you had to get things in order. You had to step by step by step. There was a lot you had to give into the situation. 
but you had the strength, you definitely had the strength to get through it. Now, that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Diamonds, and the release, and we need one more, one more from my mama's deck. <laughs> yes, angels, we missed one for the middle of the week. There we go, wow, new beginnings. Whoa, look at that, three, look at that, look at that. Pisces, look at that. Three aces back to back. It's all about you. Okay, so, all right, let's take a peek at this one more time. New financial beginning, yes. New financial beginning, yes. <laughs> Man, this is all about you. Some of you may even be having a new relationship, but I feel like anything negative, anything from the past, you're letting it go to make space for something new. Some of you, what's coming to you, you don't even want, you're gonna let it go. And some people are letting go of what they have to receive the new that is coming in the middle of the week. It is totally up to you. Now, let's take a peek, but you're gonna have to make a decision quickly, okay? All right, now, when we look at the end of the week, we have the seven of swords, yes, with the jack of diamonds, the five of spades, and the growth card. So by the end of the week, I see that you're thinking about walking away from a situation that feels with the jack of diamonds like, Ugh, something's shady. I feel like there's something shady going on. And it might have something to do with travel. It might have something to do with someone's health. Um, but I feel like no matter what is going on, there is growth here. So you're just thinking about walking away, okay? You're just thinking about it with the jack of diamonds. I feel like some of you... I just feel like you're waiting for a change. You're waiting for growth. But I, I, I don't, I'm not going to say it's not coming. It is coming. I'm just going to say you're waiting for growth at the end of the week. Maybe just the whole idea of thinking about leaving is making someone, you know, have to, let's do a clarifier, okay? Because you're just thinking about it. What is that going to do? to the situation or the person, but thinking about it or talking about it. It's gonna give energy to the situation. Yeah, it's gonna give energy, it's gonna make them have to do something, all right? Now, let's uh, move on to your bonus here. You have the three of pentacles with the five of swords reversed, the three of spades, the ace of clubs, the jack of hearts, and versatile. So I am picking up here, there is, there is an agreement, maybe a financial agreement, maybe, mm, maybe a partnership agreement. I feel like you're coming back together again, but it's driving this agreement. You're coming back together again, but you're not so certain about it because you're wondering, is this agreement going to drive me crazy? <laughs> you're thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about it, whether you want to make this sacrifice or not. You can do it, but you're going to have to do it in a, in a different kind of way, okay? It, it's like, Okay, I can handle this, but only if it's done this way. I see you tweaking this situation, this partnership or this agreement. You're tweaking it so that it fits well in your world, okay? So your major theme, someone is coming towards you. They want to give you something. They want to start again. Your bonus is telling me you will but it's going to be on your terms. It's definitely going to be on your terms this time around. And maybe, I feel like you, I think like, I feel like you are, um, you're the one progressing this. You're the one moving this forward by thinking about walking away from a situation. Because this really will change, this really will change things. But trust, when you, when you speak this into the universe, or you speak this to the situation, whether it is a relationship, a job, a, a situation that you're in, when you speak that into the universe, it's going to create change and it's going to create growth on your part and the other entity's part, okay? Now, the way you handle this, the way you keep this in your life, it's not going to be the same. You're going to have to put boundaries around it so that it fits nice and neat in your world, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.